All right, this is going to be a very short video, um, but I want to give you the entire Thunder experience in seven minutes or so. Um, this ship is crazy. Uh, if you saw my video on the ships that are going to be um, not for sale anymore in 10.1, you'll know that this ship is going away from sale. You'll still be able to play it, obviously, but uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to get it anymore. And this game shows you exactly what you can expect in this ship if you get it it is i think the best battleship at tier 10 there's nothing better than this now why do i say that because this ship is good at any range at any angle at least the guns are um the hull is kind of bad and basically this just fits the meta perfectly of long range he spam sometimes ap um this ship has by far the best HE shells in the entire game. Um, they deal massive damage, they're insanely accurate, they have crazy fire chance, the reload is nuts, you get good turret traverse on these turrets, the arcs are amazing. These guns are awesome. Um, other things to note about the ship is it has crazy um, rudder shift and a really, really nice turning circle. So you're able to dodge shells at range very, very, very easily. Um, it has great concealment. So at range, you're often going dark. That's three fires in one salvo, by the way. You're often going dark and uh, in between your shots, which is great for throwing people off or helping uh, mitigate some of that constant pressure that long range HE spam can do to you. Um, and this whole game is about long range stuff right now, right? Like pushing in is kind of a thing of the past, it seems like. Um, and so that's why this ship fits the meta perfectly. Sure, it doesn't have the best armor, but you don't need the best armor when everything's at this range. And your whole mission essentially is to dodge shells, not take the shells and tank them. You're, you're just trying to dodge shells, essentially. And this ship is really, really good at that. Um, here I'm mainly using HE just because things are angled and there you go, another you know 10k and a fire. So we're up to 68, 70,000 damage. Um, this ship really massively takes advantage of the fire mechanics in this game and how broken they are. It's kind of disgusting how good this ship is. Um, I think it's really not good for the game for this sh a ship like this to be as good as it is. Um, it, it, ships can't angle to this, right? Battleships cannot angle to this kind of HE pressure. Cruisers cannot angle to you because you can just swap to AP against cruisers, like I am here, and you have 457 millimeter shells. So anything with 30 millimeters, you're going to overmatch. And this ship has disgusting accuracy. Uh, I, I think it has the best accuracy out of the tier 10s, as you can see there. Um, even even Slava. Like, I don't think Slava really comes close to this thing in terms of AP power. This thing has a way better reload. It has maybe slightly worse arcs, maybe slightly worse dispersion, but I would debate that. And this thing gets overmatched as well. <laughs> and it just feels like it punches harder. The sh AP shells deal way more damage as well. It's, it's a crazy ship. I really, really, really don't think it's good for the game but it's kind of fun to play um you know when you're tired of trying to push in and brawl in a brawling battleship i'd like to make a note right now of the time we're at 15 minutes left on the clock which means we're five minutes in and we have 143,000 damage already so there you go i think that is enough to show you the crazy gun power of this ship you just watched essentially in the first five minutes an above average game for most people so, yeah, pretty crazy. Um, but essentially, I kill myself here. We're on 50,000 HP. We've got heals available to us. We've got a damage con available to us. And I am about to die. This ship doesn't like pushing. <laughs> it does not do well. I don't know why I turned in here. I think this was at the end of a stream where I was kind of getting a little bit tired of all the HE spam. And I was kind of unhappy with how much damage I was able to do in the first few minutes of this game simply because I didn't feel like I deserved it with the amount of HE that I used. Um, some of the hits on the cruisers where I citadeled them, that felt that felt nice, but the all the HE damage and fire damage I got was kind of... 
I don't like that kind of damage. It doesn't feel rewarding. It feels like, oh, I just out RNG'd you and took advantage of a broken mechanic. So here we're pushing in, and you would think, this is probably fine. Maybe the Yamato's going to crush him or something like that from up north, and you can see I'm aware of that. But no, in fact, it's actually the three cruisers plus the aircraft carrier that are going to kill me. And these cruisers are at long range, right? Here, I really should be turning out already. I, I should not be pushing into this cap here. I can support my Shimakaze from farther away just because of how accurate this ship is. I don't need to be pushing here. And that's kind of the main thing about this ship is you're not a pushing ship at all. Um, there's some battleships that can kind of push, but even then, those ships aren't very good at it. Um, I don't think battleships are really pushing ships. I think if you're looking to capture control for your team, you should be playing a destroyer. Now here is the problem. We have Goliath spamming us, Hindenburg's about to spam us, Yoshino's about to spam us, and there's a midway coming in with torps. So what I should have done, instead of turning into the torpedo planes like this, because he's obviously going for me, right? It's, it's pretty obvious. And I should have turned out. I should have just said, you know what, screw it. I'll eat the however many torps he's gonna drop on us. And I'll, I'll just deal with the damage that those are. Because you can see, we already lost a ton of HP to those cruisers. And they're gonna end up killing us. Now I'm gonna try and play with my concealment a bit. I still have my damage control available, so... Once we get lit on fire, and I think I'm outside of the detect range, um, or my ship's detect range, I think the uh, Kleber will leave my ship's detect range, so you see I'm checking what it is. I hit my damage control, Kleber's outside that, but there's a Summers that is uh, inside that range. So we're, we're dead here. And that was pretty quick. That was a single mistake I made by turning in instead of turning out, or continuing to push in instead of just staying at bat at max range and there's the fire that ends up killing us um so yeah thunder is an amazing ship if you don't have it i would highly 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 recommend getting it before you before it goes for, away from sale i don't like this ship for the balance of the game i think it creates even more campy meta um but because the meta is so campy these days um well i think it's perfect for the current meta of the game. So that's the thunder. Um, thanks for watching guys. And I hope you have a good day.